Welcome back to my studio. This is Deb Valder and I'm excited to show you another light up card. So originally I showed you how to use the one light light up card and all I have to do is press my little bird right here and you're going to see it light up. It's so cool. And that's done with one of our easy lights. Um, they're going to be back in stock in August so you can come back and get some of those um, one lighters. But we do have these kits still available. They're so very pretty. I've made several cards with these. Um, in the kit you're going to make one light up card and four that are the regular cards but here's another card that I did with it they're just so very very pretty but tonight I'm going to show you how to do a three light card up no I didn't say that right a three light up card okay it's got three different lights and all you do is press the little button and they all line up light up so what I want to do is I want to show you how to do that now somebody says well why, how do you know where to press whatever when I send these cards what I do is just put a little post-it note right here saying press here because I didn't want to put like the words press here or whatever because you're gonna ruin this card once they know that they can take the post card uh, post-it note off there and then just press it and when they do that you're gonna see that they um, know how to press it every single time so that's how you're gonna that's how they're gonna know how to do that you also want to make sure that when you send Send these um, that you check with your post office because they do contain a lithium battery so you just want to make sure that you you mail it the right way you're gonna have to pay extra postage because it is thicker so um, it's it's just better to check with them first okay all right so um, here's another card done with that same stamp set so in your little kit that you're or your little combo that you're gonna get you're gonna get this really beautiful um, stamp you're gonna get three of these little um, light bulbs and then you're gonna also get your light up mechanism and I'm going to show you how to put that mechanism in tonight. It's so very, very easy. I did a lot of the work ahead of time just so that I could show you, um, or so that I could show you how to do the mechanism and not have you have to look at, you know, my coloring and all that kind of stuff. So what I did was I have just a regular white base card. I took our brand new, and somebody asked me today, when are you going to start debuting your Christmas stuff? Well, here we go. All right. So this is one of our new um, paper packs, and they are just gorgeous. This one's called Mint and Mistletoe, and it has some of the most beautiful papers. And some of them are actually uh, holographic type looking or um I love this one. This is the one I'm using today. Um, they're not holographic. They are um, like embossed, you know, like they're, they're just so, so very pretty. Um, so anyway, that is the paper that I used for both of these cards. This one, the background is that card too. All right. And um, so that's why I started with a white card base. I put my, um, my little layer on here and now we're going to work on this piece right here. And it's so very easy and so fast. So this is the way you would get your little mechanism. There's a battery in there and then there's your three lights. And this is what they look like when they are out of the... Um, when they're out of the package all right now when you get it you're going to get this little piece of paper on the back of it you want to make sure you take that paper off because if you don't it's not going to work you see that there is a little um, plus sign right here that plus sign is going to get lined up with this plus sign and it just literally slides in here like this and then you you want to make sure that you test your little lights one two and three let's separate them so you can see that there are three and they are very very bright all right, so there's all three lights right there. Let me see if I can, there we go. Can you see them? All three, one, two, three. All right, so now what we're gonna do, um, you do wanna take, for this one, you do wanna take some, um, I just used regular uh, tape right here, just regular little tape right here, and that's what's gonna help me hold everything down. So the first thing that you need to do is to make the hole for the light. So what I did was I used our 
um, our cutter, all right, our retractable cutter, and you want to leave some of the um, outside of this on here so that you can put some glue so that your little light holds. The other way you can do this is to take and put a piece of um, acetate on the back of it, and that'll hold it also, but um, I find that if you just um, cut the hole in it and then just leave a little bit of outline in there, then you're going to be good and it'll, it'll hold really well, all right? So I've already done two of them. I'm going to do my, my third one right here. And it doesn't have to be pretty because it's all going to be covered up. So I just take and cut that off. I'm going to take, that's how fast it is. I'm going to take some of our deluxe adhesive. And I'm just going to put it on the outside, right? Let me get that out of there. I'm just going to take and put it on the outside right here. Just a little bit. Okay. And... I will take my jewel picker here and I'm just going to pick this up and add it to my card, okay? If you've got some that's kind of on the outside of it, you're just going to take and lift it off with your picker here. There we go. I'm straightening it up. We're going to let that dry just a little bit. And then when we come back, we're going to take and we're going to add, I'm just going to let that dry a little bit. There we go. And I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have everything all dried and ready to go, we're going to take and we're going to flip it over. Now we're going to take our strips. You can take the white strips, you can take the black strips, depending on what color um, you want it to look like. But we also have some of these amazing new clear foam um, strips and they are amazing. I don't want to use it for this one because um, I, I don't know I just don't want to I want to use uh, I want to use the white ones because that's I got a white piece right here. All right so we're gonna take these white strips now it's much easier when you're when you're using these to take off the paper first um, because then you can form it a little bit better and all I'm gonna do is just take and put a little line all the way around here with these foam strips. Now I am going to take and do a double line and what I or a double pop. And the reason I'm doing that is because we want to make the well deep enough so that um, our little mechanism fits good without it being turned on all the time. And I'll show you what I mean by that after I get these on here. So they don't have to look too pretty, but it's amazing how this goes. Right? Always take off the little foam first or the, the cover first, and then mold it around. All right, so now the second layer, let me just grab my scissors here. Are gonna go right over the top, okay? And making sure that you'd have no cover up here, otherwise it won't stick. So it's going to be sticky to sticky, all right? That's very important. All right, here's another one we're going to add. Here we go. Oh, these are so much fun. So let's talk about things that you can light up. So how about the sky? You can have stars in the sky. Um, oh, just so many things that you can light up. Um, birthday candles. Um this one happens to be Christmas because we're starting to get into Christmas in July. Um, as crafters, you know, I mean, uh, people on my personal page, when I post Christmas in July, they like lose their mind because it's like, okay, this is pushing it too fast. So what I'm going to do is I, I do like to have an even number all the way or an even all the way around. So I'm just going to take a little tiny piece over here and add that right here. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we've got our little well now, all right? Don't set it down like this because it's going to stick to your paper. All right, now what we have to do is we have to add our little lights. So what we want to do is to take this right here and take one of our lights, grab your tape. We're going to take our little light, and you want the yellow part down. That's the, the part that um, actually is the light. All right, we're just going to take that, and eh, we'll start over here on this one. I'm going to take that and just tape it down so the blue is up, the yellow is down. Now, back in the day when I first started doing this, we had to do our own circuits. And boy, you want to talk about being crazy, all right? Um, 
But these are so easy. All you do is just tape them in. There's that one. Blue up, yellow down. Just take a little tiny piece of tape just to hold it in place. Okay. Then our third one should be right here. All right. Let's get these so that they're not all miscombobulated here. All righty. I just want to make sure that when I when I curl them up, they're not all tangled. All right, blue up, yellow down. Oh, these are so easy. Like I said, if you ever did it the other way, when you had to, uh, it, it was crazy. But these are so easy. All right, take your tape, tape it down. All right, let me just adjust that one here. They are so bright, it doesn't have to be on there perfect. All right now what I do is, because you've got all this extra stuff here, what I like to do is to just kind of curl it and decide where we want our little mechanism to be. Okay. And let's see, we want it to be probably right here. So I'm gonna take and Let's just curl these up. One, two. I just wanted to position it first, just to kind of see where we wanted it all to be. Get that light back in there. Put these down here like that. So this is gonna go right about here, but we have to turn it over like that. And we're just gonna tape these down. Again, you're never gonna see all of these things. We're gonna take our adhesive, for this one, I'm just going to use our double-sided tape right here. Take that off. Alrighty, let's check and make sure before we put it on there. Oh, I want to put this down a little bit farther. How about right, right there? Okay, so our little button is on this side right here. We're going to take our so you've got all of this tape right here that's gonna hold it, and we're gonna hold this little guy on in place right here. Okay, so let's just center it. Making sure that it's still working. Whoops, got it off to the side just a little bit. Before I lay it down, let's make sure it, oh, so pretty. There it is, there it is. Look at how beautiful that is, it's gorgeous. All right, now what I'm going to do is to add my little bow right down here. So I'm just going to take some of my adhesive and add my bow. Let that dry. And our card is done. You can add a sentiment on the inside if you want, but the biggest thing right here, so what I would do is put my little post-it note right here, and you can punch out something really cute if you want and just say, press me and then remove. Um, or you can write a little note on the inside, make sure you press the inside. Isn't that so pretty? It fits into a regular envelope, and um, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed my post for tonight. This is so super easy. I hope you give it a chance. Um, like I said, this comes with um, the stamp set. It comes with um, one of the uh, little um, light ups and it comes with three of these little uh, um, candle tops and you can buy these separate also. They're in the shop. Get them while they last. Um, we're going to be ordering more because I can't stand not using them. I just love them for everything. So keep an eye open for everything. I hope you enjoyed my post for today. You take care. Have a great day. And thank you for stopping by.